So I guess my question is, well, there would be, I guess, some materialistic issues with restricting abortion, one of which would be, I guess, if we're taking in the previous 45 years as a guy, possibly 60 million children who might have to go through adoption homes. Would you support getting rid of any possible restrictions on adoption by homosexual couples to try and ease the load on these adoption facilities if abortion is banned? Uh, well, I, I don't think the two issues are related at all. Um, and I also think that in the United States, uh, as, at least when it comes to babies. Now, uh, we have to differentiate here because we talk about, well, there are babies that are in uh, adoption centers that are, or, or children in adoption centers that are, are not being adopted. And um, that's true, unfortunately, tragically, of older children. It's very hard to get people to adopt, you know, a six or seven year old child, unfortunately. Babies, though, uh, there's no problem getting babies adopted in America. None. Uh, people are people wait on waiting lists for years just for the opportunity to adopt a baby. So I don't. I guess I don't really accept your premise that we would somehow need to open up adoption in order to make sure all these babies are adopted. There are tons of people. There's there are long waiting lists. There is there is no problem in America with babies not getting adopted. Uh, and I happen to believe that. Uh, so I think that answers the question. But. Um, talk more specifically about it, I think that children uh, need a mother and a father. Uh, that is, a, it's not just a something that is, is best if you can get it type of thing. They, it is a real need. You know, um, mothers bring something to the child uh, that the child needs. It's, it's, so it's, I think there's a problem with treating either the mother or the father as expendable and saying, well, you know, if some of these kids don't end up with mothers and fathers, no big deal. It's true that there are children who end up without mothers and fathers, but that is a disadvantage that they have to overcome. Uh, I don't think we want to start them on that path initially. So thank you. Thank you.